Hello everyone, today I'm going to be unpackaging this order that I got from the Tokyo Pen Shop. This is my first time ever ordering from their site and I really liked what I saw. I really liked watching her YouTube channel as well. So I can't wait to show you what I got. So let's open this up. This is the invoice, so I'm going to put that off to the side. And it comes really nicely wrapped. has some washi tape. Here's their logo. I love their logo. It's so cute. It had a, a little hedgehog. It's so adorable. Let's... Oops. Well, I tried opening it neatly. <laughs> And then in there, ooh, so that's all that was in the bag. This is Tokyo Pen Shop for pens as precise as your thoughts. It's so cute. Ooh, I ordered this on the side because. I had originally ordered this, the Tokyo Pen Shop um, starter kit for people that want to get into Japanese pens and they're not sure what to get. She made a starter kit with a little bit of everything that she loves to use so you can get a feel for them. And on the side I ordered this Preppy Fountain Pen. I heard it's a really good fountain pen for starters and I've never used a fountain pen. It's preppy fountain pen and I got purple because it's my absolute favorite color. Let's see if I can open this. The ball point at the end is so fine. I'm not sure how you use it exactly but I will figure it out. I also got a strawberry high chew fruit chews, some some candy. I love candy. And let me move this out of the way. And here's the Japanese pen starter kit. So let me open it. Ooh, I like this material. And again, there's the logo. Ooh, it's smooth. It's so cute. Look at all that in there. So first thing in here is this Tokyo Pen Shop business card. Really cute. And then I believe this is an ink refill. Sorry about that. For one of the pens. And if you'd like to see these swatched and see what they look like, I will leave her video in the link below and she goes through all the pens and swatches them and shows you what they look like. So this is the first pen. Can you see that? Focus. Looks like that. And says Japan. Right there. Next we have I believe it is a highlighter. It has this thick end. And then on the other side, it has this thin side. I really like the color. The next pen in the bag is this Friction Ball Slim in 0.38. And there are erasable friction pens, so you rub away the ink, I guess, <laughs> with this end. And I thought it was a cap, so I was trying to take it down, but it is a click pen. I really like the color. Let's see in here. Ooh. I took a semester of Japanese, but that was a really long while ago, and I honestly have no idea what any of this says. The back. Whoa. This 
so let's open this up. So I guess you can write on t-shirts with it? I think it might just be like a sharpie marker, yeah. Like that. Next thing in here is a Jetstream 0.7 pen. I really like this. This is very nice. Sleek looking. <laughs> and this, this is the Zebra Sarasa clip in 0.4. Then it has a little stopper at the end to keep the ink from spilling out until you're ready to use it. Looks like that. Nice brown color, so I'm excited to use this. This is a high-tech C. It is a 0.4 tip. It is very fine. Ooh! This one is the Zebra Sarasa Multi in 0.4. It is a nice thick pen compared to the Sarasa clip. You can see this one's thicker because it's a multi pen. It has blue ink. Oh, it has the little stoppers at the end. Green ink. Red ink. And black ink, I believe. I've never had an actual multi pen that was of good quality. I always had those cheap dollar store multi pens that would always jam on you when you tried switching to the next ink color. What it says on there. I really like this. I'm excited to use it. Ooh, is a Russian petite. It's water-based, it says on there. And I really, really love this mint color. It is so beautiful. So there's that. Uni Style Fit. It is a 0 0.38. This is such a slim pen. I don't think I've ever had such a slim pen before. Again, this is the Sarasa clip. And I love that it's purple at the end. This is what it says. It is in violet. There are two more things left in the bag. This is a Pilot Juice in 1.0 in blue-black. Very nice looking pen. Again, it has the stopper at the end. Very nice. So the bag is empty now. This is the last item. This is the Uniball Signo in 0.8 and I believe the color is Bordeaux black. I love the look of this color. When I saw her swatch it in her video, it looks so beautiful, so I really can't wait to use this. All right, that is all that was left in the bag. And I can't wait to use all of these pens. Let me grab them and lay them out. You really do get a lot of pens in this Japanese pen starter kit. 
and I'm so excited to get to use all of these. My plan for these pens is probably to draw, maybe also some journaling because I am really interested in getting a Midori Traveler's Notebook. So if I do get a Midori Traveler's Notebook, I will more than likely be using these pens in that notebook. So I can't wait. Alright, these are all the things I got from the Tokyo Pen Shop. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you liked it, please stick around and I will see you all next time. Bye!